Vice President of Structural Engineering, I oversee the Structural Engineering, Broadcast Engineering, and A&E departments. I help with developing new methods and technology for non-destructive testing of structures at FDH. I help prevent catastrophic bridge failures by determining what scour depths are so we know that the foundations are secure. I perform laboratory tests on soil and rocks. My day-to-day -day job is reviewing my other team's work on the structural analyses before they go out to the clients and then when I'm doing my own work I'm doing my own analyses and modifications for failing towers. My most exciting work achievement in FDH have been the different positions I've held within the company. I started with the company as a project engineer in the structural department and I've worked as a structural engineer, I've done A&E work, site acquisition work, business development. All this background has led me to my position as vice president. My most exciting work achievement at FDH would be I got to work on the Mount Analysis Report Generator tool. It was just something different that not really a lot of other people have done here. Being a professional engineer for several years, the places I worked didn't allow me to sign and seal. I got to sign and seal my first set of plans here. It still gives me a little bit of a thrill. On my previous job, I was just doing lab testing, but at FDH, I actually perform and as well help in the report. I moved to United States to do my PhD in structural engineering. I was admitted to NC State and I did my PhD in constructed facilities lab. I was helping FDH with one of the projects that they had at North Carolina State and that's how I got to know FDH. Within six months of being hired here, I was promoted to my PE2 role and I really appreciated the fact that FDH saw that I was really determined and putting a lot of work into what I was doing, but I also was cross-trained to be a tower climber. Being able to get out there and see what we're actually working on on a daily basis gave me a huge work perspective, and tower climbing was awesome. Um, <laughs> that was really fun, and I do really like it. STEM career paths have some unique challenges for women. It's a very male-dominated field. Having the drive and the persistence to just keep going and you know, overcome any challenges that you face is very important. My advice to women pursuing STEM, each one of us has a gift and each one of us has a challenge to overcome. When we respect our differences and work together, not only do each one of us get to share our gifts, but we get to help each other move through our challenges and we get to create solutions for our world and maybe even make a few miracles.